okay, you weren't good enough to really get to this to this level, but at the same time, it was competitive basketball at another level, right? Right. Um, I don't know. That's interesting, man. I mean, the sport is just taking off. I mean, here's what I think would be kind of cool, if, if you ask me. I watched the three-on-three thing, right? Right. I thought that was dope. Like the, um, the big three with, really with Ice Cube. The big three. Here's what's kind of cold, though, man, if you think about it. Now, this might be, your listeners might be like, hell no, right? But this, <laughs> this is my thought. Imagine the, 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 imagine another league, though. So, like, a, like, I don't want, like, a retirement NBA league, right? Where basically when guys, like, lead the NBA, and they still could actually go. For instance, like, Vince Carter's 40. He's still hooping, Right. Right. But imagine if you had a league set up like that to where guys can still play on teams that still travel around, right? And they have the same exact setup as the NBA, but it's for the guys that are like over 35. Yeah. I think – because here's what happens. When you play ball, like I play ball – like if I could play every day, I would. I still hoop, right? Right. I'm playing with guys that – 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, that still go, right? Now, they can't go They can't go at that level, right? But it's can't still, you know, dunking and, you know, going to the basket still. I mean, AI can still play. Stephon Marbury can still play. So I just thought, man, it would be interesting to see those guys still stay in that realm but then play, you know what I mean? Because I think it would inspire – other athletes that are, you know, aging to actually stay active, to stay in the sport. Because, you know, there were still some years in some of these guys, man, that they, they could have still went up and down to play some ball that you that you love. You know what I mean? Right, Friends right. like when True. Mike came back, Mike came back at 40, right? And he still was able to do a little bit. But just as if he was in the league with his peers for three or four more years where we could have seen him, you know. Anyway, that's just a... Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it, I think it would be, I think that's a good idea because I'm sure a lot of these guys do want to still play, but it's like they're being pushed out of out. the out of the yep. NBA. But I think the big three, I think the big three is is going to be that. I think that's exactly what it's going to be as it gets uh, as it grows more. Who knows? Kobe may want to go there. KG, um, Nate, Nate Robinson just went there. So I think that's on the horizon for the big three. I think that's what Cube's probably yeah, that would be cool, part man. of his mind. Yeah, that, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you had, like, for instance, right now, what would be a great game to watch? And you'd probably be like, no, the odd. But I'm telling you, <laughs> if, if it's not, not this year, but, like, two years ago, imagine Kobe, uh, Kobe, uh, 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 Paul Pierce, KG, just give me 10 of them guys that just retired, right? And and they play against the NBA All-Star at All-Star Weekend. Wow. Yeah. You, right? That, you that would be something that? to see. So that now, would be something to see. Right. That would, you would watch that. You'd be like, okay, I got to see this. Because what's going to happen is them guys are going to stay in shape. They gonna do, they, they can't play They can't play year-round. But what I'm saying is that's a dope game to see your All-Star, see LeBron, go up against Paul Pierce for one game in All-Star Weekend, right? Like, you would love that AI run the court, bring the ball down. So, you know, uh, uh, Baron Davis, like, you, them guys would be still competitive against them, and I bet it would make the All-Star Weekend even bigger. Yeah, it would. We should pad that. We should pad that, me and you. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. I, I think they would jump on it. You know, that's what they used to do in Major League Baseball. They used to have the older guys that's right like versus that's the, right. the younger guys so man oh man this you are great man appreciate you for coming on thank you man uh Dion taylor director of the movie traffic director of meet the blacks meet the blacks 2 gonna be coming out go see the movie traffic it's gonna be available april the 27th go see it at every theater i'm gonna go see it and I uh, appreciate you for taking time out of, your, out of your Saturday to come on the show. Oh, man, thank you so much, man. And uh, truly, thank you for the support. And, uh, yeah, anything I could do, man, to um, support you and what you're doing, man, please don't hesitate to let me know. Okay. Thank you. If you, thank if you, you brother. Come, thank you. 
If you come to Dallas, uh, let me know. I love I love to meet you. I'm here based in Dallas. For sure, brother. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Uh, All, right. All right, man. I'm, I'm, I'm almost speechless right now. That was one of my favorite interviews probably of all time. Um, BAB, sorry I didn't get a chance to ask him about Jason Kidd. He was actually, it was only supposed to be on for like 15, 20 minutes, but we kind of got, excuse me, we kind of got rambling and, and talking about a lot of different things, but it's probably one of my most favorite interviews right there. Uh, Clutch Talk Sports jumping in. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate everybody in the chat room. Uh, looks like I've got the most comments that I've ever gotten on a show. Uh, 852 or 802. Excuse me, so, man, appreciate everybody, man. Um, that was a dope interview. I don't, I don't, I'm speechless right now, and it's rare that I can say that. Uh, but Traffic, go check out the movie Traffic. Like I said, it'll be coming out April 27th. I just reach out to people, man. I don't care who it is. If they say no, they say no. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask whoever it is. I asked... I'm going to ask Chadwick Boseman if you want to come on the show. He may say no. He probably would say no. But I'm going to ask him. I'm, I guarantee you right now, I'm going to have somebody on this show that was in Black Panther. It may be an actor. It may be a stunt devil. It may be the extra that was standing up on the uh, standing up on the, on the waterfall mountain. Whatever it is. Mark my words. Somebody from Black Panther will be on the show. Uh, but I appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in. Uh, it means a lot to me. Everybody that joins in, everybody that comments, it means a lot to me. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, have a good, good rest of your weekend, rest of your Saturday. Uh, weekend wrap-up will be on Monday at 12.15 Central Time, 1.15 Eastern on Monday. Um... Cedric Galloway, appreciate the comments. Mocha Bella, appreciate the comments. Sluggo, uh, Lafie, and I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong, but I appreciate you, uh, everybody that was tuned in. So, we're going to end the show with another song by Jerry from the From the Bottom podcast, um, J.R.504. Uh, message him on Facebook. If you're interested in his music, it's not available on iTunes or Google Play or anything like that. He's trying to get it on there, but message him if you're interested in some of his music. This one is called uh, Sing About Me. Uh, and you guys have a good rest of your day. BAB says, Ben, when you need to interview Mo Cheese, ask him. Uh, what the hell are you smoking when you made Timbaland and Magoo a number one seed <laughs> in the all-time tournament? Yeah, that is definitely not a number one seed. Um, but I love every single one of you guys. I do. Uh, so, take care. Have a good rest of your weekend. I'll be back Monday. Also, I'll be back next Saturday with a special in-studio guest. So, y'all take care. Track beating tone deep, thinking elevates my writing. I eat in shrooms every single stroke of my pen. Gather what's in true emotions that burn a dark side of my skin. Leading up to the pain that penetrates to my vein, leaving my body marked up like every trace of my sin. Believing it's a game, placing those images sealed tight in your frames. Now repeat again because these shackles, slips, and chains got me moving real slow, and it's all in the rain. So I urge you to free your mind from restraints, but then I can't. Because the road headed to freedom is longer than the rants oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Now at this very moment, no, I gotta fade away Two, three, in it's prime I'm talking MJ, it is shoot me from stupidity That hangs around like a local artist's negativity Can go underground 
of the deep end I was farewell, no you buried at the steep end Life is nothing crazy if you only did a little Now imagine Malcolm was never in the middle But I'm saying, <laughs> this can't be home With the men of in your ears, what's the fun? Taking it back when I wanna go back I'm trying, my generation is killing our blacks We're dying, and now they paying just to prove unproven facts They lying, now we crying Standing like some blind men Scared to tip the top to be on top like the Heisman Instead we steady catching up Spreading out the Heinz whip <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Read between the lines coming soon Maybe not in June but soon <laughs> Bruh. This song seems to have a little truth involved That's the point of every ball I'm here to screw with y'all So you can rock with and feel my pain And copy notes just to know I'm ghost writing to get through Convos are strictly photos posted with chats My social skills just slip right from off the map Now where the problem at? Because I seek to solve it We talking something that I'm at the mathematician We're loving quickly get involved in I'm tired way beyond exhausted Seeing all of my brothers turn to vampires Buried in coffins So, I actually already played that previous song, so you didn't get a bonus song. This one is Reach Out. Now I'm officially out. Peace out, everybody. Reach into you, Tucky, and stretch your arms out to whoever wanna love ya. Time should be well spent with your loved ones. My long as this record spin, go live and love them. Days come and days run. Mimicking the moon and the morning sun I photographed that picture Awake with a scripture Thanking our law for staying right chill with us Get it? I mean it seems that you ain't got it I'm talking since we're seeing it, it ain't coming A lot of people stuck Losing their charms and fresh out of luck still This world is driving me crazy So Lord take the wheel <laughs> Please take the wheel As I notice the world's becoming cold I feel the chills coming on As I rap this song to you You're listening to you. Kid Peace Reach into you, Tucky And stretch your arms out to whoever wanna love ya Time should be well spent With your loved ones My long as this record spin Go live and love them Reach into you, Tucky, and stretch your arms out to whoever wanna love ya. Time should be well spent with your loved ones. My long as this record spin, go live and love her. A better life for my wife, all I need is her. She gives me warm vibes because my heart is hers. See, she's the calm type, loves me at my worst. And when I'm wrong, she'll even tell me if it hurts. You gotta love her, she's the best. DJ Kelly said it. I want no wrong back in wrong, wouldn't be romantic. <laughs> It's London, then it's Paris, poof, and then we gone. We disappear like it was magic, and we keep going, and we keep pushing. Love will never fail if the love was always there. I feel it's so important to always stay prepared, because love float like butterflies, but it can sting like hell. Oh, yeah. Reach into you, Tucky, and stretch your arms out to whoever want to love ya. Time should be well spent with your loved ones. My long as this record spent, go live and love them. Reach into you, Tucky, and stretch your arms out to whoever wanna love ya. Time should be well spent with your loved ones. My long as this record spin, go live and love them. Reach into you, Tucky, and stretch your arms out to whoever wanna love ya. Time should be well spent with your loved ones. My long as this record spin.